So how's it going guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be kind of compiling a few bits of DLC information uh, that has been put out over the past few days and even today seven new vehicles or seven vehicles that are not yet in the game uh, have also been found which are supposedly coming in a future DLC update so that's what I'm going to be bringing you guys. There's also some actions and other stuff that's also uh, coming with DLC, all leaked out by Fun MW2. And as many of you may know by now, Fun MW2 is just the main guy when it comes to correct information. Way back before the Lowrider DLC was even announced by Rockstar Games, he was the guy who put out all the vehicles. He's the reason why we even know or knew beforehand that a Lowrider DLC was in fact coming. Same thing for the heist update. This guy's leaked out plenty of heist stuff way before that has come to the game. And it's just really a, one of the best credible sources within the community when it does come to leaked information. And he tweeted out today an apparent Lowrider 2 DLC and seven new vehicles that we can expect to see coming with that. Now, these are the vehicles found so far. That's not to say that, you know, other vehicles may not be coming, but this is what we know so far to be coming in a future DLC update. And there's seven new vehicles in total so far. Uh, most of these are, of course, uh, kind of newer versions of what's already in the game. So, for instance, we have a new version of the minivan coming. The minivan will be on your screens right now. Uh, this, of course, being a vehicle that's already in GTA 5. So, I presume this new version coming is more than likely going to be something that we can customize inside of Benny's workshop. We have a new version of the faction coming as well, which I'm actually quite interested in. I'm not too sure uh, what they are going to possibly do with that, but it's actually quite intriguing that a new version of that uh, is going to be coming. We have also a new version of the Sabre Turbo, which I presume, and once again, this is just an assumption, uh, that this is just going to be an upgraded version that we can apply, you know, inside of Benny's workshop and apply all those uh, crazy customizations to it, which I think will be pretty awesome for that. And for whatever reason, Rockstar decided to label the Sabre Turbo in the coding as the Sabre GT. I'm not entirely sure why, uh, but just in case you guys are wondering, that is the case for that. We apparently have a new version of the Lost Slam Van. This is a vehicle that a lot of people kind of sought after. Um, apparently coming to the game as well. He also put out a separate tweet for this saying the Slam Van 3 uh, used there, you know, insinuating that another version of the Lost Slam Van uh, is actually in place. Now, once again, I, I assume that this will just be something that you can customize inside of Benny's workshop, uh, which I think would be awesome. You know, the Lost Slam Van is something that a lot of people saw after, and if you could heavily customize that, uh, in a certain way, I think that would be definitely great. And then we have a new version of the Tornado and two apparent new versions of the Virgo uh, to be coming in terms of vehicles. So it's kind of to be expected with the Lorad DLC. You know, with the first Lorad update, they did the same sort of thing. They kind of just brought in vehicles that were already in the game and just made a few of them customizable. With the addition, of course, of two new ones being the Faction and the Moonbeam. And it kind of seems the same for the apparent Lorad DLC Part 2. Now, in addition to this, there are three brand new actions that have also been found. Now, we actually have the name of these. One is known as You Loco. I'm pretty sure your uh, imaginations can go wild to of what, you know, that would actually be like. We have the piece, which I'm presuming is just going to be like you putting up a peace sign. And then we have another one known as Finger Kiss. I'm pretty sure you guys can uh, imagine as well what that one will be like. So some pretty interesting stuff there. Once again, we don't know if these actions are specifically tailored towards the apparent Lowrider DLC Part 2, or they're going to be coming with another update, maybe a Christmas-themed update or something like that as well. But we do know that they are there and just not yet uh, actually added to GTA 5 properly. And the last thing, apparently a new contact is coming, which was listed in the contact list that is known as Sal underscore A. AG Boss, once again, that is the code name for it there. Um, but AG Boss, I'm not entirely sure what that would tailor to, uh, but I'm guessing more information on that will be out in the coming days, weeks, or months ahead. And that pretty much wraps it up. That's just a little bit of a compilation of some of the recent leak stuff that Funham W2 has put out there over the past few days and even today. And I just wanted to keep you guys updated on some of the recent information that has been put out there. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. If you are an active subscriber on the channel, uh, be sure to leave a like. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. Subscribe if you guys are new around, and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.